in caves, in mines, and in isolated uh, mountain hideouts, we found that Hitler and his gang had stored art treasures, paintings, statues, tapestries, jewelry, and all else that the Nazis knew mankind would pay much to rescue and to preserve. You just heard General Dwight Eisenhower describe the challenges that Allied forces confronted 70 years ago in their effort to defeat Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. My new book, Saving Italy, focuses on these heroes' extraordinary experience fighting a war in art-laden Italy. The near destruction of Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, The Last Supper, and combat that threatened Michelangelo's brick and tomb sculpture of David are just two of the incredible events I share with readers. Years of research have enabled me to tell how two unlikely soldiers, one an artist and professor, the other an art historian, helped protect Italy's great churches and monuments while hunting down billions of dollars of art taken by the Nazis. My discovery of secret documents revealed a remarkable connection to a largely unknown figure, SS General Karl Wolf, longtime adjutant to feared SS leader Heinrich Himmler and a favorite of Adolf Hitler, Wolf controlled the artworks as part of a dangerous gambit to surrender all German forces in Italy. George Clooney and an all-star cast are filming the story of how the Allied effort unfolded in Northern Europe based on my last book, The Monuments Man. With the launch of Saving Italy on May 6th and the release of the Clooney film in December, 2013 promises to be an event-filled year that will interest hundreds of millions of people worldwide in this epic story. Construction of a permanent exhibition to honor the Monuments Men at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans ensures that their legacy will be preserved for all time. Saving Italy is a great American story that will remind readers of a time when the fate of freedom hung in the balance and with it, the survival of the artistic treasures that have come to define our civilization. I hope you'll join me on this adventure as we journey back in time on a high stakes chase behind the closed doors of the Vatican, alongside General Eisenhower and OSS spies, and into the churches and museums that became battlefields during the war to save Italy.